Lady beetles, or ladybugs as they're more commonly known, are some of nature's most important insect predators. They live in our gardens and in our landscape plantings, and these insects are voracious predators of things like aphids and scale insects. And they consume both of these kinds of pests as an adult and as a larva. The larval form before it pupates and turns into an adult can eat up to 400 aphids during that period of its life. And then as an adult, they're gonna eat an additional 5,000 aphids. So that's a ton of pests that they're removing from your garden, basically for nothing more than room and board. You're giving them a plant to live on and food to eat. And so they're gonna to help to save a lot of your plants from those two kinds of pests. We have many different kinds of lady beetles that we can encounter here in the United States. In Nebraska, we have the convergent lady beetle, which has that classic red and black coloration and that domed back that people associate with ladybugs. If you wanted to identify it, you would look on the top of its thorax, that second piece on its body, and it looks like it has these angry white eyebrows on the back of its thorax. These are the identifying traits for the convergent lady beetle. If you saw a 12 or seven spotted lady beetle, I think their names are pretty self-explanatory. You just count the number of spots on their back and then you know what you're looking at. And then we also have the multicolored Asian lady beetle, which is sort of more orange in color and it has that domed appearance, but it also has a black M shape on the back of its thorax, which stands for multicolored Asian lady beetle, of course. These are the mower invasive of the lady beetles, pushing some of those other species out and they do occasionally come into the house as well, but they are beneficial predators in the summertime. Lots of people wanna use these biocontrol agents in their garden, so you can enhance their populations by performing releases of lady beetles, but that's often best done in a covered garden. So if you have a cage around your garden or a reme row cover or a greenhouse, you can do that. That way the lady beetles don't escape or you can use more biorational pesticides, things like neem, spinosad, or Bt, which will control our pests, but not harm our beneficial predators. If you perform these kinds of tasks, you'll have plenty of lady beetles around to kill all those pesky aphids, and your garden will thank you for it.